with a pocket full of game. Uh, oh my god! Two. Yes. Yes. Okay, talk to me about that. Talk to me about how you got involved, your character, production. Give me all of the all of the details. I got you. So basically, okay, so I I was the lead in Pocket Full of Game Part One. Mm -hmm. So that project, it's an urban action film. I play a girl named Portia. She's a street girl raised in East Harlem. You know, um, she she. She was in the streets and she fell in love with someone who was also doing the same thing she was doing. And they started doing it together. And then, you know, she wanted to get out the mix and she she finds a way to, to get out the industry. But she kind of was forced. And I say industry because I don't know what else to call it. It's like the the yeah. drug gang or whatever. <laughs> I'm not from the street, so playing this character was really fun for me because I got to like tap into something that I'm not, you know, that I don't, yeah. I don't know nothing about. I don't know anything about selling um, drugs or anything like that. So this, this is a character who's really in the streets and she's about it. She's not like she doesn't play any games. So you guys gotta watch it. Um, she gets caught in in a lot of stuff, and she's okay. So I'll say this about Portia. Portia, she. She is a street girl. She knows how to make money, but she doesn't want to hurt anyone. She doesn't want to mm. kill anyone or, or hurt anyone. And I think that she gets caught up in something and it gets it it put it makes her realize that this is not where she wants to be in life and she finds a way to get out. Now she comes to her peers and she's like, "Hey, if you guys want to get out, get out." They didn't want to. So now they turned their back on her and she is, you know, caught in a mess. But you guys got to watch part one because part two is coming out in the fall. And now I'm a whole different person. This is 16 years later. Okay. Pocket Full of Game is, is Portia 16 years later. She's out the game. She has a baby now. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but um, it's it's a really fun and, and action-filled movie. So make sure you guys watch it. Um, I'm also in a couple of other projects um, that are coming out this fall, but... I'm I'm just starting my acting journey. I started modeling first. That's how I got mm -hmm. into the industry. I start. I might. I used to call myself Kathy Red. <laughs> I was a little bit spicy. I had red hair and everything. And then um, I I loved it. I loved. I knew I loved um being in front of the camera, but I didn't necessarily like love mod. Like I love taking pictures, but I don't like the modeling industry per se. So okay. I chose to like you know, just elevate myself in a way where I was like, okay, what do I really want to do? I still want to be in the arts. I love acting. I love getting into different characters. Kathy Red was a character in herself. That's not who I am, guys. You see those pictures out there. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> now I got I got to pull one up now to throw it in an interview. So when the people when they watch this at home, they got to see. You Kathy have Red. to. Oh my God, <laughs> Kathy Red was a, a, a firecracker. I'm gonna focus. This is your African king is coming, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends do a talk. Get real with it, my son. Live from the king. Uh huh. This is real fans. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 